So now we are going to start our lessons on the common data transformations that we have in Power Query. These are like the 20% of Power Query features that you get to use about 80% of the time you need to do anything data transformation in Power Query. And we're going to start with how to combine data in Power Query. There are times when you want to use data sets that have to collect pieces and pieces from different data tables, different independent data tables, and you have to pull them all together into a single data source for you to use for whatever purpose you want to use it for. That's when you are going to need to combine data. And there are primarily two ways to combine data in Power Query, because if you think about data tables that are, are tabular in nature, then you know that data tables are made up of rows and columns. So sometimes you will need to add some columns into a data set from another data table and sometimes you have to add new rows of data from another data table. So that's why we have two types of uh, query combinations in Power Query. One of them is append and this one involves adding more rows of data by stacking up two different data sets on top of one another. And the other type is merging of queries. So merging of queries is going to involve adding columns from one table to the other table. So say, for example, you have two tables and one table has five columns, but you need to include a sixth column. Now, the sixth column you want to include is probably going to have to come from another data table. That's when we are going to talk about merging of queries. So let's go into each of these options one by one, starting with append queries.